Hello lovely people, my name is Stephen Culver. I'm a Global Teacher Prize finalist from 2021 and I teach in Brunswick Secondary College in Melbourne, Australia. So what I'm going to present to you today is six different ways that you can make use of the videos that you produced over the previous two years when we had to do things a little bit differently and teach via online means. Now the idea is how we can bring those videos, those resources, those things that we made and make them more engaging in the classroom space. Okay, so we've got six categories of how to apply the videos that you've produced. The first, we're not really going to focus on too much, but it's basically direct instruction or lecturing. So this is what you're probably familiar with already. Uh, it's traditional in the positive sense of the word. You're delivering content to your students. So as we move through the six steps, you'll see that we're moving a little bit away from that and we're freeing up the teacher as much as possible to engage with the students rather than merely speak at them. The second option is shared viewing. So essentially you've made a video and you're going to be displaying it to your students live in class. So this gets a bit confusing because you're showing a video of yourself teaching something while standing next to them when you could be teaching them. Uh, there's a number of different reasons that you might do this. You might want to pause it, explain things, ask questions, prompt that students are awake, those sort of things as you go along. But shared viewing is a truly legitimate and interesting approach to teaching this stuff. Third option is something that we call the partial flip. So you're going to be partially flipping your content. Flipped basically means that the work that's normally done in class is done at home and vice versa. So the idea is that if you think of Bloom's taxonomy, you've got your basic knowledge down the bottom and then you've got application at the top. You're going to be trying to get some of that basic information done at home so that you can get to applying as soon as possible. All right, so a partial flip in the actual classroom means that some things you're delivering via video, probably things that are evergreen, things that will always be true. It might be rules for mathematics, it might be uh, spelling structures for English, things that need to be referred back to multiple times. And for more no novel and once-off explanations, you're going to be doing that direct instruction lecture style. All right, the fourth option is in-class station rotation. So I want you to picture a number of different tables around a room. And you could have these based around skill level. So you could have, you know, your highly accomplished students at a particular table working on a more advanced skill, a middle group, a lower group, and so forth. Or you could have it in a sequential manner. So they need to pick up this knowledge here before moving on to the next one. And you can have students staying and re-watching videos as much as they need at each station before progressing to the next one. Option number five is our blended or flexible mode of delivery. So we're bringing together three things, our in-class work, our video work, and a range of other online capacities that we have in our class. So it's flexible in the sense that if you feel like your students need some direct instruction, they need some one-to-one -one connection or some whole class connection to the class, you can do it flexibly. If students haven't been doing the viewing their work at home, so they're not prepared for the lesson, you can break them into groups based on that, and just being a lot more flexible than some of the other options. All right, option number six is the full flip. So a full flip basically means that all of the background work is done uh, outside of class time. So if you think of a university, the lecturers produce their video lectures, they've given you a reading list, they've given you a textbook. All the content that you need to understand is external to what you actually do in the class. So that means that once you come into the class, you can kind of be having discussions and really going deep into the content that you already have a shared background knowledge of. This is what we call the full flip model. 